Hello Pacific, it's so good to uh, be talking to you this week and uh, again and again we're doing these video productions so that uh, we can keep connected and uh, I'm so glad that you're uh, paying attention to them, you're hearing the news and you're responding even to all the asks that we're making uh, in these videos. Well, it's going to be Mother's Day this coming Sunday, so I know that uh, you guys are going to uh, treat your moms really well, send her some flowers, do the social distancing type of thing, but uh, it sounds like a beautiful day. And uh, so happy Mother's Day to all of you mothers and thank you for all that you do. Now, one of the things that we've always done at Pacific Community Church is we've uh, been a participant in the baby bottle drive for pregnancy options. And uh, this year we won't be able to hand out baby bottles, um, but you can give directly to Pregnancy Options on their website. And they'll be receiving donations from Mother's Day right to Father's Day. And uh, these donations go to support this organization which helps um, mothers, new mothers, uh, be able to uh, choose to take care of their children um, and work themselves right through a pregnancy. And so what a great organization and uh, your support for them will be a blessing. Last year, we were one of the top givers um, as a church, and so it's always a delight for us to be able to support a good organization like that. Um, two, I want to make mention of uh, a prayer concern. You know that we've been ready to welcome a refugee family, uh, Benjamin and uh, Kiana and their daughter, Nila. Uh, presently, they are in Turkey. There's not much happening in terms of processing, uh, but they are now getting into a, a bit of a tight situation. Um, they've lost their health insurance. Turkey uh, was providing that. They've withdrawn that. And this coming week, uh, they've been asked to move from their apartment. So things are getting a little bit more difficult for them. We are going to write a letter to the government to see if they can expedite the process, and we will attempt even to provide some health insurance perhaps. But uh, do pray for this family as uh, things are becoming more challenging for them and we would love to see them get to Canada. So just ask God to uh, expedite this process and put the things together so that we can receive this family. This coming week, we are continuing our uh, study in James. And we are going to be focusing on this text from uh, verse 11 of chapter 4 right to chapter 5, verse 8. It's, it's a section of, it's three sections really. And um, again, James comes out sort of, you know, punching. Um, basically sort of saying, hey Christians, here's how we should live. And so, you know, if I was to summarize it already, it would be like, hey, for those who do a lot of judging, Stop. God does the judging. Um, for those of you who uh, like to plan your future and drive into the future and make yourself a success, you know, perhaps remember, you're just a bit of mist. And finally, he says, those of you who have been made rich by paying your workers cheap, that's called theft. Anyways, some interesting stuff that James gets at. I'm, I'm titling the, the message, Deo Valente. I'll leave it at that. See if you can figure that one out. Finally, here's a big deal. We're, we are planning a big party for Pacific on May 17th. Yes, May 17th. It's going to be a special party, a once in a lifetime party for Pacific. It's going to be a drive-in party. We're not going to congregate too much but we are going to have an opportunity to celebrate, can you guess it? The end of our mortgage. Yes, we signed the last check and delivered it to our mortgage holders and we are now free, we're liberated. And what a good thing to celebrate. After many years of uh, paying down this mortgage since the purchase of this building, we are now done. And so we want to celebrate that. So we are going to create a little bit of a uh, a map for you to visit all the different sites that Pacific has met in, uh, in Cloverdale. It would give a little bit of history. Perhaps you can send some pictures if you have pictures of any of these places or any of the, um, any of the history of Pacific. And we'll put something cute together 
And we're going to encourage you after church on the 17th just to take a, tr- take a drive with your family and uh, visit some of these spots and end up at Pacific at around, uh, we'll give more details, probably around 3 o'clock. And we will burn the papers just for the fun of it. And you can park in different places. We can catch up with each other at a social distance, of course, and uh, maybe get a treat on that day. So we just want you to book May 17th as uh, for us all to gather a little bit in the parking lot here at Pacific and have a bit of a celebration of what God has granted us with this building. Anyways, God's blessing to you. Um, Looking forward to seeing you. We do miss you. Hope you miss us and, uh, and look forward to catching up with you by all the means that we have uh, at our disposal, visually, virtually, and uh, through some of the service that we do uh, at CCK. But one day we'll be meeting together, worshiping. I look forward to that. God bless you. See you soon. Hello, my name is Matthew Campbell, and I'm the director of the Cloverdale Community Kitchen. And today I'm excited to tell you about our brand new Cloverdale Community Cycles. As many of you know, one of my passions is cycling. I've also noticed that at our community meals, many of our homeless friends and those in the area that don't have cars or can't get on transit have been riding their bikes to our meals for the last five or six years. Many of the bikes that arrive here are in pretty bad shape. And I've always dreamt about being able to start a bicycle shop that would be able to fix bikes for those that are in need. A couple couple weeks ago, we got this brand new bike shop down from Salmon Arm in a full on container with all the bike equipment that we would need, set it up, and we've started to be able to fix people's bikes. We already have some really, really awesome stories to share with you. First, One of the guys that comes to our meals have been coming for a couple of years during COVID-19 here has found it very difficult to be able to get down here on transit. He lives seven or eight kilometers away. With transfers, it can take him an hour and a half to get here on the bus, an hour and a half back on the bus. Trying to walk, it can be a really long walk for him. He knew that we had some bikes that were donated. He asked for a bike. We were able to set him up with a bike. And now he's able to ride here every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and be able to eat the meals. And uh, he can get here in 20 minutes or less. Very exciting. Also, one of our ladies who is homeless here in Cloverdale wanted me to share this story with you. Last week, we gave her a brand new to her, brand new used bike to her. And she was so excited because this was, since she's been on the street, this is the first bike that she has received that hasn't been stolen. She was so excited because um, it was almost a turning point for her life where she was able to receive a bike, know that she was using it and know that it didn't come with a crime or a cost to it. So thank you to the people that have been able to donate the bikes to us. We are taking bikes. We are fixing them up. We are giving them to people in need. Just had a call from uh, someone who works with uh, some youth up in Wally. They have a uh, 18 year old uh, who needs a bike uh, and we were able to fix up one. And uh, next week we'll be sending a bike up to uh, a youth in Wally that uh, needs a bike to be able to get around to a job that they have and they can't go on transit right now. So thank you to each of you that are giving us bikes. So. If you have an old bike, something like this, any condition actually, even if it's better than this, please donate your bike here. We will fix it up. We will give it to those in need. Some of the bikes that we receive, we will fix up and we will be selling back to people who want to buy used bikes. Those funds will help to be able to repair the other bikes that we have as uh, it always costs a bunch of money with different parts on our bikes. Finally, if you have a bicycle that you are riding and you want to be able to uh, ride it, but has a flat tire, broken cables, maybe the shifter's not working, our expert bike mechanic, Kevin, can fix any bike. We've already had 10 or 15 different people come on down. They brought their bikes down. We fix their bikes, send them on their way. They make a donation towards the shop. And then we use that money to be able to fund the good work that we're doing. We have a direct phone line to be able to reach Kevin in the bike shop. You can call him at 
704-3404. Again, that's 604 704 3404 and uh, you can reach them if you need uh, repairs done. Also, if you're looking to donate a bike and you're in the uh, Cloverdale area, we can come and pick up a bike um, for you. If you are further afield and you have three or four bikes, we'll go anywhere in the lower mainland for four or five bikes to pick them up and bring them here to the shop, repair them and get them to those in need. Again, thank you Cloverdale, thank you Langley, thank you Surrey, thank you for all your support and we hope to see you on the road on your bicycle.